Oh, is that his only outfit? I thought I chose something different for him, but I guess that's his outfit. That's fine. Forgot the, the archer I gave the correct outfit to is dead. My bad. <laughs> What's up everyone? I'm Kelsey and I'm single. So I thought it would be funny if I reviewed The Sims 4 Wedding Stories. I've reviewed this once before, but since then there has been a massive update to the game. And so I'm going to play it right now for you guys and let you know if I think they have fixed it significantly enough that it is worth the money. I feel that I am uniquely qualified to review this pack because I have been to a couple weddings, none of which have been of my own. And so I am very clear headed. I am a third party observer of weddings and therefore have a neutral and unbiased opinion. Last time it was absolutely a disaster to the point where I was very frustrated. So this time I really hope that this wedding can go off without a hitch. But um bum pun intended. So let's just jump in. You might notice something different if you're a regular around here. And if you're not a regular around here, why don't you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell and join the little squad. So you'll be notified every time a new video goes live on Wednesdays and Saturdays. But you might notice that behind me is a beautiful white curtain. I thought it was very regal. I thought it was very um, wedding-esque, but also I have a secret. So behind me, I've had a room renovation that the video of which is releasing at the end of this month. And so until then, you're gonna be seeing a lot of this because I cannot reveal the new backdrop to you. Trust me when I say you're going to love it. I'm gonna try to dress it up with different colors and things to make it extra fun. But for today, I was thinking it looked already very bridal. It looks very like the backdrop of a wedding of some sort. Maybe we're in a wedding photo booth taking silly photos for the bride and groom. Who knows? So we're back in Tartosa with the Thorn Bloom family. I have went in and changed them back into being Beyonce so that we can try this whole song and dance again. I also know now that the wedding venue has two wedding locations and that can confuse the Sims. So we're also going to be deleting one of the wedding locations before getting married there. So this is the wedding location. As you can see, there were like multiple places for the Sims to go to get married. We haven't done the indoor one yet. So I think we'll do the indoor one this time. My goal today is to do one party and one wedding and I will see how fun it is. And that is what I'm basing it off of, how fun it is and how much these functions in the game work. So let's start our first wedding event. We'll do it this evening. Let's just do the batch party. Okay, so the host is Lavender. It's going to be a joint batch party. So we're gonna invite Archer, Agatha, Ronan and Hector. So we're just gonna invite all of these people. We're gonna just do everything just to see if we can. And then it will be located at that bar. Yep, there we go. And we're gonna make it 4 p.m. All right, we're gonna try to do all of it. And then Wednesday will be, oh, Wednesday is a holiday, but we also want to get married. We're getting married on, on Christmas. That's really cute. Can't plan during a holiday. Well, that's silly. We'll delete the holiday then. Thank you, goodbye. Wedding event time. Sims of Honor will be Agatha Crumplebottom, Officiant. Oh, we don't have any of these. I guess I'll have to ask people at the batch party and then add them later. And then we'll just invite everybody that we know. We will do cutting the cake, dancing, exchanging vows, spousal kiss, uh, celebration feast, speeches, toasts, first dance, walk down the aisle. Their outfits look good. We'll do a guest code of polished and in the color will be purple. It will be at the wedding venue and it will also be at like three o'clock. Okay, so we have them both set. I think you can edit this and add more efficiency and things like that. All right, the batch party is about to begin. Uh, I'm excited to see how the batch party goes with all of our closest friends that we just met. Okay, we're here at the batch party. He doesn't like the music. Hopefully I can change it. I'm gonna change his dislikes because it bugs me that he doesn't like that music and he's gonna just have a bad time the whole time if he doesn't like the music and that bugs me. Everything is going to be perfect. All right, so dancing is already happening. Let's grab some drinks. Oh my God, he's hysterical. Are you kidding me? Why is he hysterical? Go calm down. I asked the guests to come do drinks. We'll see if they do it, but I need him to calm down. All right, she waved. Let's see if anyone gets drinks from the group. And there's no bartender now. All right, he ran away. Let's try, let's try the toast. Like, let's, let's do the toast, please. Can everyone come out here for a toast? All right, let's just give a toast. Let's see if anyone shows up. Nope. All right, so that's still kind of feeling broken. It doesn't seem like in the batch party anyone's coming to do anything that I want. Like even Archer is still doing his little thing over here. I'm assuming we can add a dessert over here, serve food. 
Let's do like macarons. So let's have everyone eat food. Let's see if maybe that one will work for our, our guests. Anyone? Okay, she grabbed it. Did anyone else come grab food? Ronan, okay, so Ronan did grab food. It seems like the Sims will do it if they don't aren't doing anything else. Okay, look, it's, it looks like Mary Greenberg's doing it too. So a couple people did grab food. I guess I could choose who I order drinks for, but I'm gonna have her drink a nice wine. Looks like one person did come to get her drink. Interesting, so sometimes it's kind of working to grab the drinks. Other times it's not really functioning as well. The toast was kind of a bummer because no one came outside to hear her toast. It's better, it's not perfect. We did get all of the things done though on the little to-do list. If I had to grade this batch party, I would give it a 80%. I feel like we were 80% there. We're having a good time. I think you could get most of the Sims to do whatever you want. And you know, Archer is becoming the number one fan of this comedian apparently. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's hysterical again. Please stop watching this woman if you're gonna be hysterical. I don't think she's that funny, Archer. Uh, we're gonna ask some people to be a part of our wedding. Let's see if maybe Mila will be the officiant. I want you to marry us, if you don't mind. She said yes! Okay, wonderful. We're gonna ask Hector to be the ring bearer. He, oh, he said no to being the ring bearer. That's a shame. Meanwhile, our husband is calming down. Nope, he's still hysterical. If you die before the wedding, I am going to marry someone else. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. You're you're scaring me, you're scaring me, you're scaring me. No, 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 not allowed, not allowed, not allowed. I just debugged him and he died. Are you flipping kidding me? I'm sure the wedding is off now. Oh, we're getting married to a ghost. Eh, you know, she's so happy. Where is ghost Archer now? Oh my gosh, and she's sad because the because he's dead. Well, now this event is over. Let's go home and get a new archer. Can we marry a ghost? I didn't even know that was a possibility. I'm really mad though that I really actually did make him calm down in the bathroom multiple times and he died. I don't think that has anything to do with this pack. It has everything to do with the Sims, but I am still disappointed. <laughs> I just panicked, so I was like, ooh, debug. It never works, it never works. All right, I guess I gotta get a new fiance. I should have saved. All right, I re-downloaded him. I'm, I'm adding them back as to fiancés and I'm putting them back into the world. All right, so now it should be that she only has one archer and he's alive. Is the wedding still happening? Okay, the wedding doesn't have a groom. I think we're gonna have to delete the wedding and redo it. Amazing, okay, we redid that one. And then we're gonna go to sleep. Archer's also gone to sleep in his own bed. They're sleeping in different beds because it's the night before the wedding. Okay, I think she can like call and order something, right? All right, I think we need a computer because we need to buy a wedding cake. Oh my gosh, there's so many wedding cake options. Kind of thinking something purple. I like that first one that had purple on it. This is like beachy wedding cake, but it's beachy. Hmm. I guess we'll do this floral one. And so I'm going to adjust and select the wedding cake now. Okay, everything's all set. So she can go to bed now. It starts in an hour? Oh my God, did I accidentally make it for 3 a.m.? 3 a.m. wedding it is, baby. Going into a dawn of a new day, into a new era of their lives. They're all here, we're ready to go. They all do look formal and most of them do look like they're in purple. Archer is not wearing the outfit that I chose for him. Oh, is that his only outfit? I thought I chose something different for him, but I guess that's his outfit, that's fine. Forgot the, the archer I gave the correct outfit to is dead, my bad. But everyone looks like they are here, they are all formally dressed, so that's a win, that is the first thing that was an issue last time, so excellent. And we're gonna go with this inside one now. So let's see if we can have everybody take your seat at the wedding. So let's have everybody take their seats. It looks like they're all moving in here. Oh, and the officiant really went up there. Okay, this is amazing. All right, so let's send down the aisle. Let's do the ring bearer first, right? Oh my gosh, look at him. He's got his little rings and everything. Wow, okay, okay, send down the aisle. The Sim of Honor, Agatha Crumplebottom. Get down that aisle, queen. We're gonna send down Archer. He's gonna walk down the aisle. <gasps> Look at him go! Look at him go! Oh, our boy! He's tense, why are you tense? Okay, now he's happy. All right, and then we're gonna send down our, our lovely uh, Lavender. Uh, Lavender, get out of the bathroom. Go to, the, go, to, go to your wedding. I love everybody sitting there. Okay, this is perfect. Here she comes, and she's right next to her husband. Okay, incredible. Ceremony activities. Archer, get back up there. He needed to pee. We did the walk down the aisle. Let's get married, please. All right, let's try 
exchange bows, and kiss. The officiant's not functioning, it seems like, or at least in not my game. But he's crying, he's laughing, he's so happy. She looks mad as heck. You need to like cool off. I'm gonna make her happy. Oh my gosh, she's talking about how like, how much woohoo he wants to have with her. Oh my God. Let's see about everybody else. They're all sitting in their spots. They are watching, they are reacting. This is satisfying to me. It is still a bit of a mess, but it's significantly better than last time. And she pulls out the ring, beautiful. And he's pulling out his ring, putting it on that finger. He put a ring on it cause he liked it. <gasps> and then she's dipping him. Oh, and the music is playing and they're getting engaged. And then we're gonna send two Sims. We're gonna send up Archer and Lavender. Oh, he's, yes! Okay, this is very satisfying. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous, stunning, spectacular. All right, so let's serve an assortment of food here. And then we will have everybody come to do the feast next. So, okay, everyone see me like they wanna eat. This is good. So I just really hope that our bride and groom sit at the same table. They do. This is not a drill. They're all sitting down to eat. This is amazing. Look at them all. Look at them all. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. They're eating. These are eating inside. You know, don't don't love it, but it's still kind of a part of it. And celebration feast has been checked off. Repeat, the celebration feast has been checked off. We love to see it. They're feeling great. Now, I feel like we should have speeches or actually request a toast from your maid of honor. Agatha, will you give me a toast since you're the sim of honor? She is not even in the area. I don't know where Agatha is actually. I'm not see. Oh, there she is though. She's okay. She's here. She's here. Is she going to give a toast? Oh my gosh. She's making a toast. Oh, they are. They are all toasting. Okay. This is good. Okay. Next ceremony activities gather for speeches. The speech will be given by maybe Archer. I believe. Oh, he's giving a speech over here. That's very unfortunate. Also, I don't know where they all, oh, they all went in here. I kind of want to just like delete this room, to be honest, but he's giving his cute little speech, even though no one's listening, but they're all coming by now that there's no other stuff. The speech is technically crossed off. All right, so next up, I believe would be cut the cake. There's no cakes on the lot, but I swear we had a cake in our inventory. Oh, I also forgot to hold the bouquet. Meh. All right, let's buy another cake. All right, we have our cake now. Let's pop it on here for the wedding. Select a cake topper. We'll do like a cake topper here. And then we will do gather for cake. Come here, Archer. I'll feed the cake to you. Oh, that's cute. I actually love this. That's very sweet. I like this. Everyone's taking a piece of cake now. Okay, perfect. So cake is done. This is going really well. Oh my gosh. There's a couple hiccups, but it is significantly better. All right, so now we only have dancing, blow bubbles, and first dance studio. And so far, everything has actually gone according to plan. Whenever I ask them to gather somewhere, they've done it gather for the first dance. Okay, so they're gonna gather for the first dance. Slow dance together with Archer. I'm hoping that counts as the first dance. Turn on like romantic move music. Maybe I have to turn on music first. Okay, they are not doing it. Let's do, oh, she fell asleep. Will he just do it? Okay, here he goes. He's dancing. He is not slow dancing with his wife. Maybe she will arrive and do it. Okay, there they go. They're slow dancing. No one's watching, but it counted as their first dance. So there we are. Aww. Oh, this is kind of nice. Have guests dance. All right, so everyone's gonna dance. Perfect, okay. And then last but not least, ceremony activity is the blow bubbles. Yes, yes, they're blowing the bubbles. Blow those bubbles, baby, woo hoo hoo. Start bouquet throw. I'm curious if the bouquet throw will happen or not. Oh, here she goes. Okay, she's going. It literally just looks like maybe just Mary will be doing the bouquet for throw. Where are you going for this bouquet throw, you weirdo? She's like, follow the leader. Okay, something glitched, but I do not have the bouquet anymore. It's down here. Oh, the wedding ended. I wanna still see if we could do the bouquet throw. Okay, so people are lining up behind her. They're excited. Here we go, bouquet throw, and then we're out. We'll stop moving. Okay, the bouquet throw is glitched still. That's unfortunate. But these two are married and everything technically functioned okay. Just not the bouquet throw. Overall, I would say 100% this game has been fixed significantly. I've also learned a lot about the game and like how to make things run smoother, in which case like only having one destination for the reception and one area for the um, wedding itself really helps so that the Sims don't try to like go to different locations. But for the most part, I would say that this is mainly fixed. There's a couple little bugs here and there, but that's kind of true of any Sims game. And honestly, for me, that adds a little bit more flavor if not everything 
goes perfectly all the time according to plan um, when I'm playing my game. Would I have really loved to see a bouquet toss? Yes, um, and I'm still seeing a couple flaws, but the world itself is absolutely gorgeous. The build and buy is great. And now the functionality of the play stuff is good enough, I would now recommend that you buy it if you're interested. So thank you guys so much for watching my updated review. If I had to rate this pack on a scale from one to 10, I would probably give it an eight still. I think there's like still bugs to work out, but it's a really solid pack. And I think it's gonna add a lot to my gameplay in the future. Now that a lot of these things are fixed, let me know if you are planning to buy it now, if you've already bought it, what are your thoughts in the comments below? And until next time guys, I'll see you around the internet very soon.